so this is Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi. Mary, could you tell me, how long have you been dancing? Uh, about 25 years. 25 years. <laughs> And so, do you recall who? So, do you recall who introduced you to dance 25 years ago? I seem to remember strolling down the street. I remember being in my stroller and seeing a dance school along the road and, and wanting to go, and you know, being enrolled and starting up. <laughs> do you remember when you f saw your first live dance performance? Yes, I think it was quite a few years later. And we saw um, Romeo and Juliet at PBT. My dad and I. And what did you think about it? Oh, it was beautiful. Um, I just I think I just started dancing here, so you know I was still young, wasn't doing point. Of course, the ballerinas on point were just amazing. And so, did you think that you could do that too? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I think anybody can do anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> so that's ballet. Um, do you have a favorite form of dance? Would it be ballet or tap? Probably. Or dance? I, I think it would be ballet. I haven't done um, much else for quite a while, um, but it's like riding a bicycle, you know, it's my default. I really like modern dance too, but that's because I can kind of combine it and make ballet more funky. Yeah. And so what what is it about ballet itself that you're most attracted to? I just think it's a, it's a beautiful art form. The, uh, it, the way your arms move and your legs and your length in your body and or contract and just so much you can convey through well real any kind of dance just so much you can convey through your body right um do you have a favorite performance i think i'm a sucker for the nutcracker <laughs> you know <laughs> and as for your own performance in the nutcracker do you recall what your first role was yes i was a soldier and uh chinese my very first years. <laughs> and do you remember those costumes? Oh yeah, yeah. I think they still use the soldier costume. The Chinese was different. It was kind of a big old sack dress and they had straw hats. <laughs> um, what is your favorite dance of all the dances in the Nutcracker? Snowflakes, most definitely. What's your favorite dance in the Nutcracker to perform personally? Uh, well, again, I do love snowflakes, but I love strawberry swirls because they're so cute. <laughs> and and when you are performing on stage, um, how does the audience's clapping and participation um, energize your performance? Oh, most definitely does. It's so nice to have some reaction back from the audience. You know they're not sleeping or bored, even if they're faking it. At least they're participating <laughs> and they're helping with your energy levels. <laughs> they're there with you too. Yeah. So, um, how many hours a week would you say you dance on your average week? Well, it's only about three or so with what I teach and then when I come to the class. And what do you love most about it when you're here doing that? Well, it's great exercise. Um, and just uh, the efficiency. I like, I love to do bar, which I didn't use to like growing up, but I love it now. Because I feel like I can, I, I do things nice and cleanly, whereas maybe not so much while doing a dance. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've heard all these positive things that you love about ballet and dance. Are, are there any? Is there anything that you would say is extremely challenging about dance, or has in the past been challenging for well, you? Well, other than getting off the couch and getting here, <laughs> um, point is very challenging. It's not not an easy thing. I always try to remind the young ladies that it's it's hard and it's tiring and your toes are gonna be in bad shape. <laughs> so given that, what would be um, the single thing that makes this all worthwhile? I think the thrill of the performance is just one. Again, when the audience does care and claps. And, but it's just such a thrill when the lights change and the curtain goes up and the costumes, it's wonderful. And what do you think those people in the audience who are not dancers might be surprised to know? Well, I think all the work that goes into it. Because you think, oh, yes, they do a wonderful job, but they don't realize how many hours and hours and weeks go into each performance. And so for your development as a dancer over the years, are, is there anyone or a few people in particular who contributed to that, to your growth? Well, I've had a, a lot of great teachers over the years, but uh, one I have had the most and probably learned the most from was is Mrs. Ryan. Um, just, she was always very, very 
strict and you need to, you know, this and that and here's what you need to work on and and I love that. That's how you grow, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, to wrap it up, do you have any advice for the new up and coming dancers, perhaps your students? <laughs> Most definitely. I try to remind the girls when they're being picked at by me or by Mrs. Ryan or any other teacher and you're being called out either in class or in rehearsal, it's a good thing. If you're not being picked at and t spoken to, you might not be being seen. So it's much better to be poked at than not hear your name or anything because you know you're being watched mm -hmm. then. That's right. Well, thank you for your interview, Mary. Thank you.